Hey fishing friends, this is Matthew with Outfishing 13. I've been playing around with Zebco reels now for quite a while and uh, I've purchased some that are fairly expensive and some that are what you would consider the, the basic entry level model. I wouldn't call it cheap because they're actually all really, very nice, but it's your basic entry level model. Um, like this little Zebco 11, it's your micro reel and it's not your fanciest one. It has one ball bearing and then three main bushings. But today we're going to soup it up and trick this out so that it has um, three ball bearings. We can't do anything with the last bushing because the bushing on the nose is actually molded into the frame. So let me show you. Let's get into this and I'll show you what's going on. And we're going to trick it out and make this. A better reel. Okay, let's get started on the little Micro 11 and uh, soup it up. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take two ball bearings. These are ball bearings are 10 millimeters outer diameter, 6 millimeters inner diameter, and 3 millimeters thick. It's the same exact size as the little brass bushings that are inside here. You'll need some oil, um, some grease and a screwdriver. So let's get started. We, we're going to start on the back here um, and and replace those two bushings. Now real quickly let me show you um, why we can't do anything with the front. So take the front off, take the cone, the front spinner cone off, and Basically, there's nothing you can do in the front of these because th this axle right here actually rides on a bushing right there, which is molded into the reel itself. So there's nothing that we can do there, but that's okay because it, it has a ball bearing down in, inside there. Let's put this back together real quick. Okay, we're ready to take the back off. So just a little turn on this one. You can see the two bushings right here. Now, if you want to learn how to service this, watch my service video. Okay, so to take this apart, we're just going to take this handle screw off. And take these bushings out. the first one and the second one okay don't throw these away keep them put them in a little plastic bag and mark them and we're going to take this out here I just want to clean things up a little bit I already serviced this and I've only used it a little bit since it's been serviced, but I still want to clean it out a little bit. We're going to add some grease to this anti-reverse lever here. This is a neat way to add, put grease in there. Okay. Now I've got some really good made in the USA lithium grease here and I'm going to put it on I've been wanting to use this and I'm going to put it on my main gear just to coat a, a nice coat of it all the way around here not a lot just a nice coat And then some down here. Okay, now we're ready to put the bearings on. Okay. Add a little bit to the shaft. Okay. 
little bit to that. That'll be good. So I'll make sure that that little pin is facing down and drop it in there. Now before I put, I'm going to go ahead and put these, slip these bearings in, one on one side. It doesn't matter how they're put in there. They can go on that way. And here. And I'm going to use this little screw to push them in all the way and seat them in there. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to put my handle on. Actually, before that, I'm going to take and, and put some of this quantum hot sauce real oil on here on those bearings. Okay, good. Put a little bit of grease down there on that bearing, on that bearing there. This will help protect it from any water that comes in. Okay, put the handle back on. Wipe some of this excess grease off. Okay, the bearing is seated down in there good. Did you see that? this back together that's just the string going around in there all right, let's put this cap back on. I'm going to take and get my string out. Hey, that's really nice. Well, there you have it. A Zebco 11, that has three ball bearings in it. And so we tricked it out, souped it up. Can't tell what's underneath the hood, but it's gonna be a lot better. One of the advantages of ball bearings, let me just address this for a minute. One of the advantages of ball bearings is, is that um, the shaft of, of the, and the main shaft in here rides around and it just goes around in that, that um, this little brass bushing and what it will do over time is it will actually wear your shaft out with the ball bearings on there it's seated onto the shaft so it, the ball bearing is spinning around and it's not wearing out your shaft so what it'll do is those ball bearings will make this reel last for a really long time and it'll always be smooth you'll need to take them out once in a while and clean them out and um, if it gets really dirty you'll need to clean those bearings out with solvent but um, they're shielded so it shouldn't get any sand and grit in them. Just clean them off and clean them out and uh, you're good to go with some oil and grease. But um, that makes that a much better reel. Basically, this is the equivalent now of a Zebco 11 Gold with three ball bearings. And you get the advantage of having the, the Bite Alert on this one. So there you go. Thanks. Let me know if you have any questions um, and, and make some comments below. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye. Oh, one more thing. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up.